The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 26th, the uh, terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We do not make that one little two by four shift means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't get to the phone, we've got you covered. Go ahead. Let those fingers do the walking. Rifle off an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And if you're in our tiger stand, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got a mixed bag out here. You got the Dow up 52, S&P up 12, NASDAQ 100 up 49, Russell's off nine, semis are flat, Tranny's up 149. We're going to go make hay of this hay out here. You've got gold uh, off 14 bucks, trained at 1792, silver at 2410, that's off 50 cents. Lights be crude up a buck, 84.75 is the print there. Lead the charge dollar wise to the upside. You've got Amazon up 46, Google up 38, MedPace Holdings up 20. S&P Global 19, Arista Networks up 18. To the downside, Shopify 58 points, 4%. Lockheed Martin down 12.5%, 47 bucks. World Acceptance Corp 44 bucks, 21%. Upstart Holdings 43 bucks, 12%. Chipotle down 1.5%. That is 27 buckaroonies. So we got a question inside the den. What are your NQES support levels on a pullback intraday? And that's from John. And we're going to go take a look at the uh, at each of the equity future contracts out here. So let's begin with the NQ. Now, before we begin, well, I'm not going to be able to just change tabs here. And uh, what I'm going to do is, well, actually, let's do this. Let's come to this set of panel here. So now we're just entirely focused on the NQ. So in the upper left, you got the daily NQ. The upper right, you got the weekly. You've got the monthly. In the lower left, you've got the quarterly. In the lower right. So here's what we know right now. With regard to profile levels, prices trade above the top of all profile levels, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. That's just simply a bullish indication. Simple as that. So the first level of support that John is really asking about, what are the key levels of support uh, on a pullback intraday? Uh, even though we're not looking at intraday type of uh, time frame charts, it's still going to be the top of that daily profile, 15,483.75. The, uh, I, I don't know if the Russell, no, I don't think the Russell generated its profile yesterday. No, it does not. So the only equity future contract, with a uh, daily profile that's anywhere near price right now comes from the NQ. So the NQ is really the place for us to focus on for a potential top out here. So the first thing that needs to happen is price would need to get back below 15, 483.75. What happens if it does that? Well, then you'd be looking at 15,305 to 15,301. 15,301 happens to be the top of that weekly profile. If the move lower is just a counter trend move, then what we should see is price find support at 15,102 to 15,126. 15,102 is the center of its weekly profile, and 15,126 is the bottom of its daily profile. So even those aren't the intraday signals out there, these are important levels to be watching. So now let's go from the NQ here. 
let's go take a look and see what's going on from a profile standpoint. And let's just pull. Now, this is my 30-minute tool. And let me switch this from the S&P. Just want to see what the current status is of market breadth. On, uh, so the market breadth on the 30-minute time frame just had a bullish cross. So, oh, I take that back. So it's still in bearish crossover mode out here. That's on the 30-minute. That's the only time frame as we speak right now that has any kind And let me just prove that to you. That has any kind of – and we'll go take a look at the 30 – so what we want to understand there is where, where's the next level of 30-minute support. But here is the NASDAQ, and you can see for the 60, 40 daily and weekly, all of those are still in bullish configurations, which is why we need to see some of these key levels of support fail – to suggest that perhaps there is some kind of a top out there. So now let's switch over to our intraday, or our eight panel charts out here. Give me just a moment to do that. Hopefully we grab the correct screen. And here you're going to see in the upper left the monthly time frame for the NQ. We know it's got a TD9 count top, but price has just been trading sideways by holding that green oscillator and change line. Its signal is neutral to bullish. We've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top inside the NQ, so not until that gets taken out, it's all-time high. On a weekly basis, it close above that. Will we have a full breakout message? We are in bar number nine of a TD9 count. We have an A to B equals CD to the upside. Let me just expand out the daily time frame chart for us. Let's get rid of the A to B equals CD to the downside out here. Let's get rid of that. And I don't think I have to draw that pattern in for you. Instead, what you're just really focused on is whether or not we're going to get some type of bearish reversal candle. Now, you can see that, that today should become bar number nine of a TD9 count. The only way that doesn't happen is if we see the NQ give it up. And by give it up, I mean close below the level of 15,357.75. Not likely to happen, could happen. What would be more ideal, though, out here is, look, either one of these, the A to B equals CD pattern or the TD9 count, both are valid topping signals out here. You'd just like to see both of them confirm at the same time. And then, and I don't know that we can really get that today, uh, what I was going to say is when I say I don't know that we can get that today is that bearish shooting star candle. That's the likely bearish candle that would uh, uh, form. Because if price closes below the top of that daily profile, that will not end up being a or it's likely not going to end up being a shooting star candle out here. So what we also want to notice is that you can see that oscillator and change line went from red to green. And if price just pulls back to test that and rejects it, that tells us we go all the way back to the highs. And since we're in this favorable seasonal cycle, maybe what it's telling us is much, much more than that. So as we take a look at the other intraday charts out here, John was asking for the answer to your question, I believe that you were looking for is going to be 15,451. And you'll see 15,451 on the 30 minute, the 60 minute and the 120 minute time frame. Now, the only one of those intraday time frames, I, you know, look, there's so many, there's A to B equals CD patterns that I could draw out here. So the only one that's got a TD9 count top is the 120 minute time frame. And so that makes that 15,451 level real key. You can see how price is pulled back to test support on that 120 minute time frame, the 15,515 level. So price has to close below that. If it does, then you're looking at 15,451. And I would say if we get it close below 15,451, it's signaling a short term change in trend. And the pattern that we would be using there at that stage would likely be that TD9 count. So that's what we're looking at. You can see the other intraday time frames out here, but it's really 15, 451. That is the key. Now, if we take a look at the other futures contracts out here, let's just go take a look at the ES mini. We've only got about 10, 15 seconds to do this. But here you can see the TD9 count top on the daily. It too could form a uh, bearish shooting star candle. But as far as where support is at, shoot, that's all the way down at 4387 from a profile standpoint. Support really? 4492. Stevie's Oscillator Unchanged Line. We'll be right back, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Hey, I forgot to tell you guys about a, a story, a cool story that uh, took place over the uh, weekend to a, a real nice couple, some friends of ours. It's the woman that cuts my wife's hair, has been doing that forever. Very young couple. I say young. They still have, they've got seven kids, but still a young couple. And uh, she had come up with an idea a couple of years ago. And her idea was this handheld flask that uh, would be uh, covered up, in essence, with uh, bouquet-type flowers that could be used at bridal par parties. And, and when they ran that uh, concept past me for some uh, funding or what have you, I was kind of like, hey, I, I, it's such a niche market market. I, I just don't see it. Well, in any event, she's a very aggressive uh, girl, Kelly, and uh, which is a good thing out there. And she actually got an appointment with Shark Tank. Now, she got uh, uh, an appointment with Shark Tank, and then they had some issues during COVID and had to be rescheduled. So it was uh, shot uh, recently during the season. And Friday was the uh, was was their show segment. So they threw a party. Luckily, I was able to get back in time to uh, go to that. And so we knew they were having a party. We knew they had gotten funding, but we just didn't know, you know, what what, what, it is called Flasky Flowers, if you want to go ahead and take a look at it uh, online. In any event, they got three sharks, not just one. They got three. They got Lori, they got Kevin O'Leary, and they got, uh, uh, what's the, uh, the other guy, uh, basketball guy, uh, uh, you, you know who I'm referring to out there. But they got three sharks, which is really cool. Not a bunch of funding. They just were looking for, well, I think they were only looking for. 50,000 maybe they got 75 from it and uh, each one only took 10 percent so it was really a cool experience to uh, see and uh, to see that come about so uh, anyways I just wanted to to share that with you in any event so now let's get back to the ES mini out here and so as we take a look at the ES mini much like the NQ we can see right now that prices trade above all of their profile levels now when I say all I'm referring to daily weekly monthly and quarterly time frames now the only profile that prices just above by a smidgen 
is on the monthly time frame. So the level to be watching there, it's resistance. It is going to be 4540. So if there's going to be some kind of top inside the market, we're going to need to see the ES mini get below that level. Now, potential for a bearish shooting star candle inside the ES mini, we really won't know till the end of the day. But if we do, we'll get both a TD9 count top and a confirmed sell the D point. Uh, but again, price being above profile levels can always make things uh, suspect. What we should expect, and we talked about this yesterday, I think we might have even mentioned it on Friday, but certainly we discussed this yesterday, is that that green line, the green red line, the oscillator and change line, on a daily time frame recently changed colors. And so when it changed colors, what we know is that price, that tells us that price and that line are going to catch up to each other. What it doesn't tell us, and I've been looking for that secret, is exactly when and how many days. So we don't know, but just knowing that that is a likely outcome. I consider that to be a competitive advantage. So that's one of the things. Now, what we don't know is how it's going to do that. It could be a market moving sideways while that advanced, while that uh, oscillator and unchanged line continues to move higher. Could be any combination of things. But the combination of things, what we're looking for is what's the outcome. And we don't know what the outcome is. What we do know, if it's a test and rejection of a green oscillator and change line, that's simply bullish. Now, price has got to get back up to a resistance level, but that would be a bullish outcome. And a bullish outcome in the favorable seasonal cycle says, well, maybe the consolidation patterns that you and I have been looking at for quite a while, in fact, are going to get broken. We don't have that message just yet. We have two of the equity future contracts trading above the consolidation and two that are not. In fact, the NQ, I believe, tested so far and rejected the top of that level. So that's what's going on inside the ES Mini. Typically, when we get to tops out here, you like to see all kinds of uh, topping signals in the intraday time frames. Well, other than put, putting in some A to B equals CD patterns and with the market moving higher, that's an easy thing to do. Don't really have much. So what levels of support would need to be broken on the intraday time frame? That was one of the questions that John had asked. Well, that would be down at 40, 45.37. If you get to 45.37, that's a TD9 breakout level on the ES Mini. Shoot, you're going to be pretty darn close to the 44.92 level. And so, you know, I, I wouldn't suggest then shorting the ES Mini then, knowing that price might just be tagging that oscillator and change line, and then boom, it's off to the upside out there. So the ES Mini, in my opinion, as just taking a look at charts, understanding where support levels are, doesn't really provide you with a great reward risk opportunity now, nor does the NQ with prices trading right above the top of that daily profile either. So we're in a, a wait and see mode, I believe, until the market is able to communi communicate to you and I more clearly what its intent is. As far as its intent, we know we've got topping signals. That's the TD9 count pattern. But that doesn't necessarily that we're going to see a top. That pattern doesn't have to work out there. We know that tomorrow price, in fact, could continue to move higher. So we had somebody on the line, Rose from New York City called, but no longer on the phone, no problem. And Rose was asking about Tesla. So why don't we just take a, a little uh, uh, pit stop here, go take a look at that Tesla. Let's change screens and we'll go see what Tesla is doing. I believe it's trading higher, but let's just go take a look. And, and I don't believe there was a topping signal inside of Tesla. But nonetheless, let's go to our three panel chart out here. Let's put up the uh, ticker symbol TSLA, TSLA. And what we've got here right now is uh, what? Uh, well, speaking of bearish shooting stars, not too much wick as we speak right now at the uh, bottom of that. But uh, let me, so prices above all profile levels, daily, weekly, monthly, it's made the 1.272 expansion of its last set of weekly swing points. That would be from January of 2021 down to the uh, low in uh, March of 2021. But that's not really providing us with a ton of information. So let me get over to another set of charts out here, my radio charts, and let me get Tesla up on the uh, screen. And uh, this is going, well, let me just do it this way here. It won't take a second for this to populate. We get the uh, daily and the uh, weekly time frame. So we take a look at the daily out here. Certainly there's an A to B equal CD to the upside. There's plenty of them. And, and all right, my system says yeah, even with that wick, that uh, still might qualify as a shooting star candle out here. So if we do get that, uh, and who was that? That was Rose. So if you do get a bearish shooting star candle out here, what you would expect, what I would expect, that would be a topping signal, is price to pull back and test the first level of support. And the first level of support is down at 914. 
914 is the oscillator and change line. It's green. If price and, and, and look, as price moves down, that level is going to change. As price moves up, that level is going to change. So you just got to use this as kind of a guideline right now. Um, although I teach everybody how to put an oscillator and change line on their screens out there as long as you can program it into your uh, software. But 914 would be a level to be taken a look at. Now, as we look at the weekly time frame chart here for Tesla, no damage. Uh, price moving higher, doing with less relative energy, but it's already gapped up this week. That's a bullish signal. So the weekly chart is saying, yeah, okay, not so much. The daily time frame is saying, well, I might be interested in pulling back and pulling back to test that oscillator and change line. The 30-minute time frame out here, certainly A to B equals CD patterns. That form with a bearish shooting star candle. Now, price right now, Rose, is testing support on that time frame. And that time frame support levels the bottom of its profile. The bottom of its profile is exactly at 1005 Point zero three. If price closes below that, two consecutive closes below that, then what uh, Tesla is signaling to you and I, price is headed back to 960.23. So if price closes below 960.23, that signals a drop to 903. Uh, but at 960, uh, you're still going to be above that oscillator and change line. And that's more likely the uh, target if we get that bearish uh, reversal candle, which currently is a, a shooting star. But if it uh, moves up too much more, there's going to be too much wick in that candle in order to qualify. So, Rose, thanks so much for calling in. Sorry that you weren't able to hold on. And uh, Steve Rhodes with TFN. Right now, we've got the Dow up 22 points. S&P's up seven. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to our first question. It's the only or the second question, and it's the only question I've got in my email right now. So, Steve, at TFNN.com, put radio show question, if you would, inside that subject at an 877-927-6648 if you'd like to call, and we would love to hear from you. But Hector and the fuel injectors, that would be Patty, want to take a look at the real estate sector, XLRE, and Facebook. Happy two for Taco Tuesday is what Hector says. So, XLRE, please work in A to B equals CD up if possible. Yeah, we could put one in there. Given time, Facebook isn't giving us an opportunity to buy the D point here. Uh, okay, let's go take a look at it. Oh, and you'll catch the archive, no problem. So as we take a look at uh, the real estate sector, uh, right now moving higher into its swing point from September 3rd. That swing point has volume of 5.5 million. You're already at 3.5 today. So it seems like it has the volume. Uh, whether a uh, price gets into it or not, it's likely to head up and test that level. That level is 48.80. The weekly chart is confirming that message as well, Hector. Right now, price is trading above the top of the profile, 47.83. It's bearish in structure. So a close above that would be a bullish outcome. The last level of profile resistance is at 48.80. That, in essence, is an all-time high. And it's a brand-new bullish structured monthly profile. So that suggesting when you get above the center of a bullish structured profile, you typically go up and test the high. So this is really suggesting that what the real estate sector is going to do is at least go test it high. Now, maybe it's going to break it out. I don't know. But at least it should go test the high. Let's look at our white background charts, see what they're providing us with. And what they're providing us with on a daily basis is that, in fact, that is the case. Now, I say, in fact, that is the case because there was a TD9 count pattern that formed. It completed on October 22nd, and it failed the very next day. Not even a hiccup. And that talks about a very strong momentum move to the upside. Now, the only fly in the financial ointment here is the oscillator and change line change colors. However, my experience is typically what we see is we don't see price and that level start to catch up to each other until we've got a valid top. And there is no valid top in place. You were asking about an A to B equals CD to the downside. By the way, the real estate sector formed a road momentum indicator top and it formed a road's momentum indicator bottom out there. So that's a, a good pattern. So right now, the real estate sector on a daily basis says it wants to move higher. Don't have any kind of topping signal. The weekly time frame, that's the same message out here. The monthly time frame, the monthly time frame says the following. If price closes above its all-time high, you should expect and anticipate the real estate sector to just continue to zoom, zoom, zoom to the upside. With regard to the A to B equals CD, Hector, let me go over to my black background chart. The only one that I can see on a daily time frame, and I assume that the daily is one that you were looking at out here, is with the A point starting down on the uh, bottom of October 6th. That would be your A point. Your B point would be the high from the 15th of October and the C point, the very next trading session. That's October the 18th. The one to one level will take you up to 48.58. That was only, that was less than a 0 0.382 retracement. So that says higher and that says 49.30. So with regard to the real estate sector, it's on fire. And it should continue to head higher and at least go test that all-time high. Your other request was for Facebook. Facebook trading below the bottom of its bearish, bullish structured daily profile. And that suggests lower prices. With regard to the buy the D point out here, um, let me pull over. So from a profile standpoint, the next profile level that would be a target for Facebook would be the bottom of its monthly time frame. And that is down at the 292.75 level. So let's pull over this daily chart. Just pull over the charts here for Facebook. And I know you mentioned an A to B equals CD pattern, but I was just simply going to say scrap that idea. And instead, what you're going to look for. Now, we've seen one Rhodesman indicator signal form. And it worked its magic. Its magic was it took price all the way up to resistance, which was the top of its daily profile. So here it forms with wave number seven, a road's momentum indicator hammer candle. That was the bottom, takes price up to resistance, and now price is below support. But it's below support, and it still has that road's momentum indicator signal triggered. We can see that Facebook's breakout level is 303.57. So very likely that is where price is targeting. If price closes below that, then what we're looking at is a move back to the 284 level. But what I would do here, as opposed to just focusing on the A to B equals CD patterns, because the road's meant to indicate a signal is a better signal out there. I don't know if it's better or not. It seems to produce better results. I would wait for that, Hector. Now, let me look at the weekly chart for you. 
real quickly here on a weekly chart says 303.57. So we've got two at the 303.57. So those are the breakout levels. Bar number six on a weekly basis. It could be a TD nine count bottom that forms. And that says the net's not for several weeks out here. So right now, if your question was, should you consider taking a long position in Facebook? Steve is going to say no, not yet. But let's continue to monitor its trade activity. And uh, when it's ready, it, we should be able to see it clearly. So thanks so much for writing in and listening to that archive. And have a uh, terrific Tuesday. Speaking of terrific Tuesdays, let's go out to Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. Uh, uh, a quick story. I turned 80 a couple months ago. I called my ex-wife. I said, now I'm an octogenarian. In case I get the flu or COVID, if anything happens to me, I want to be cremated. My ex said, you want to be cremated? I said, yeah. So my ex, she called me back the next day. Says, I got an appointment for you next Tuesday. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I <laughs> anyway, love last it. week I went long on STLD and Newmont. Okay. I took profits on STLD today, but I missed the move on Newmont. I just wonder what Newmont and gold look like if I, you know, should I, will I get another shot? So another shot at selling? Yeah, I, I'm long options, long-term options on Newmont. So I guess I, they, it'll follow gold. Yeah, but what it's uh, but what it's doing out here, so if you take, we're looking at the Newmont mining charts out NEM. here. NEM, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, NEM. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've we've got it up on the screen, uh, so hopefully you can see it. And yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, the the resistance level is what it hit fifty eight seventy one. That was the top of the weekly profile. And price has pulled back just uh, a bit, but in the pullback, what it's done, it's still staying above the top of its daily profile run fifty seven fifteen. So even if I could, which I can't, come up with a A to B equals C D to the upside. I mean, I'd be forcing it. I don't want to do that. I don't really have a sell signal out here, and price is above the top of the uh, profile, so I wouldn't be looking at buying at selling this. I'd almost be asking myself the question: Is it a buy, sure. not a sell? Okay. okay. Now, granted, there's resistance at 58.71. If we see a close above that on a weekly basis, that would be a positive thing, and say that we continue to move higher. Now, let me pull over my white background charts for us on Newmont Mining. I believe we can take a look at the uh, daily and the weekly time frames as well out here. So, when we look at the daily chart. Granted, there was a shooting star candle that formed a couple days ago. That was on Friday, very much like we saw in silver and in gold out here. And if price gets above that, boy, that's telling you that we're headed higher. I think longer term, bigger picture, Newmont Mining is headed to the $70.12 area. You're at $57.59 right now. So the okay, question so is, is, is there going to be more to this pullback or not? Um, and and to, to investigate that, we really got to take a, a deeper dive down into it. On a weekly basis, I take a look at Newmont. This formed a TD9 count bottom. So what did that uh, well, happen when you get a bottom? You typically go up and you get to the, the resistance level. In fact, that's what took place. Got up to the top of that profile. It's pulled back. It's still above its oscillator and change line. This still is telling me this is a buy, not a sell. I take a look at the monthly time frame chart out here. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of information from the monthly uh, chart. I just have to hit the right button out here. Yeah, so I don't have much on the monthly time frame. A quick peek at the 30 minute, not provided with us with much. So let's do this run. Um, uh, we're about to go to a hard break here or any kind of break. And so do me a favor, hold on, and I'll come back and we'll answer any questions that you've got about Newmont Mining. But it's looking to me to be more of a buy than a sell. Okay, Steve super. Rogers, appreciate your comment. Yeah, we'll be we'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. DataWhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're on the line with Ron in Denver. We're taking a look at uh, Newmont Mining. Hey, Ron, I heard from a number of guys sent me a couple emails here, and they said they believe that if they asked their ex that same question, uh, they uh, that they would respond the same way. So, uh, <laughs> well, it's nice to have your ex thinking about you know thinking about well, you. That's nice. And, and so, yes, and, and yeah, we're octogenarians now. Eight yeah, years well, old. <laughs> well, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. And, and so, uh, I would say that the response, because you asked the question. And questions control the focus of, of certainly your ex-spouse out there. Uh, that uh, that Ron, I, all I can say is you earned it. Yeah, I don't think Earn. I'll make that appointment. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm with you. Do not, do not make that appointment. But look, I thought what we would do here is go take a look at gold. And so, even though I've got our four panel time frame charts out here, the only thing I want to point out to you on this chart right now, and we'll see what happens by Friday. But last Friday, price closed above the the center of its bullish structured profile. And it's still above it right now. And that level of 1790.60, and if price can stay above that, close above that again on Friday, we'd have two consecutive closes above that. And that, was gonna, that would then suggest to you and I that price should make its merry way up to the 1838.70 level. That is the uh, top of the weekly profile. Now, what's going on, so the question becomes, is it a buy or a sell? Um, my charts seem to indicate to me that it's more of a buy than a sell. That is um, a new mining. Mind we take a look at gold here, and uh, I alerted to I alerted all subscribers to this early this morning, which was that to expect and anticipate that gold would go ahead and pull back and pull back to where its oscillator and change line. Why the oscillator and change line? Because it recently changed colors. It changed colors yesterday. So when price pulls back and tests that level, it hasn't gotten all the way down there. The low of that line or the low of today's price inside of gold is, let me get that for us, that low run is 1783, and the line is at 1778. Now, if price continues to move higher, I know the way that this line works, it'll start moving higher, and it will look like in about a day or two that we saw that test. Um, but price still may pull back to test that line. As long as gold remains above that level, I would have a hard time telling anybody to short any kind of a mining stock. I mean, it'd have to be really short-term time frame out here. What you'd be looking for is a confirmation for gold, and then maybe that would apply to the mining stocks, Newmont and so forth, is a test and rejection of this green oscillator and change line out here. So as long as price remains above it, Ron, I think you've got to stay uh, long and strong uh, gold and the mining equities. So that's what I see. Any questions about what I presented to you so far? 
No, thank you very much. You explained it very well, and I'll just stay along the call. And uh, if he gets around that oscillator line, maybe I'll just add to the position. Perfect, perfect. Now, look, if, if price starts breaking through those levels, then we may have something different. But that's not what we have as we speak right now. And the whole reason, Rod, that I developed that oscillator and change line was because I wanted to be able to clearly articulate, both for myself and then for anybody else, when a retracement was just a retracement or was turning into something else. And at this stage, especially with that line being green, it's just a retracement. All right, great. Okay. Oh, one other thing real quick. Yes. I told my kids, uh, I said, your mom is one hell of a housekeeper because when we got her divorced, she kept the house. There you go. I love it. I love it. Hey, <laughs> Take care. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing and have a great day. That was Ron in uh, Denver. And uh, we're going to put Ron in charge of the uh, jokes for uh, the uh, Trader's Ed show. I think we've got a second motion inside the Tiger's Den. In any event, uh, no more questions that I've got here. I don't, nothing I see in the Tiger's Den, nothing here by email. And uh, we've got about uh, you know another 15 minutes left, really probably about six minutes. So what do we want to go look at next out here? And that's really a great question. What do we want to take a look at next? Um, uh, genius, is that what you're asking for? I think I think that is, G-N-U-S. And that's, uh, I wasn't calling myself a genius, but, but trust me, out here. But we're going to go take a look at G-N-U-S for Dan in Boston. And uh, give me a second here, Dan, just to get those charts flying on my other screen. Let's pull up our black background charts. So G-N-U-S is a stock trading right now at a buck ninety-three. A gigantic move yesterday. It must have cured cancer. It went from a low of 131 up to a high of 207. That's a big move. Uh, if you take a look at where price is trading in relationship to its profiles, your next level of resistance, and I think we may have talked about this uh, before, uh, Dan, but it's still going to be 207. If we didn't talk about it, well, we're going to talk about it now, and that's 207. And 207 is the top of that monthly profile out there. If you can get a close above that, then that signals that we're moving to higher ground. Higher ground to where? Great question. Let's go take a look and see if we can figure this out. So let's take a look at here's the daily time frame as soon as we get this expanded. It's a broken through 189 breakdown level. So that's the positive 185. The next one out here is at the 220 level. So your next area of resistance is about 220. Uh, above that, I don't see anything on the uh, daily time frame. A quick peek in on the weekly chart out here as we populate this. The weekly chart says longer term, intermediate term, price is going to go target a 395 level. 395 is its TD9 breakdown level. But as you and I just discussed, it's not going to do that until price closes over the top of its monthly profile, and that's at the 207 level. So your next battleground is that two, uh, I'm sorry, two, yeah, 207. Actually, your next battleground, the real battleground, is at 233. And 233 is a TD9 breakdown resistance level. We have not seen price close above this. It has attempted to on a monthly basis, one, two, three, four times. So, Dan, on a monthly basis, if you get a close above 233, you're off to the races. And if you don't, you're off to the races to the downside. And that downside would probably take you all the way back to the oscillator unchanged line. So that's what's going on when we take a look at G-N-U-S. Is it Genius? Is that the name of the company? It is Genius Brands International. I don't know what they do, but whatever they did yesterday, that was a, a big, that's what we call a wide-ranging bar. One of the wider ones out there. So thanks for the request. And uh, you bet. Glad to uh, do that. So uh, lights we crude. I know we took a look at Lightspeed Crude yesterday, and uh, folks were looking for a potential top there. So let's go check in on it, see what it is uh, doing. And uh, even though I'm going to go ahead and pull up our black background quad charts here for daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly, let me see if I've got my other Lightspeed Crude charts up or if I've got to get those going here. Mm, ah, they, they're not going, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a uh, shot. Uh, so Lights Recruit is attempting to form a new profile right now. The price is trading above the top of it. Uh, and the price closed above 83.96 today. Uh, that negates its sell the D point. And it just says that price wants to continue to move higher. But we got a caller on the line. Let's go out to Robert in Kansas City. Robert, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. Yourself? I'm excellent. Uh, thanks so much for the call. And you want to take a look at ticker symbol FXI, I believe. And uh, tell us what you're doing and how I could best help you. Uh, I am interested in taking a short position in this. It looks like it's uh, uh, topping out to me, and I would just like to get your thoughts. 
Okay. So if we take a look at FXI, uh, FXI is trading above the top of a new profile that, it, that began yesterday. And that profile formed underneath price. And that is a bullish message. It is at least a bullish message as long as price remains above 4105. So when we go take a look at FXI, we're going to want to see if we can see any kind of significant top or anything. But right now, the message from the daily time frame is uh, really a bullish message. As I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, price got up to resistance. That was the top of its weekly profile last week at about 4278. And so there's a resistance level. And on the monthly chart, it's the bottom of that monthly profile, and that's at 4166. Okay, so that's the groundwork. Robert, hang on through this break. When we come back, we're going to go take a look at FXI, my white background charts, and I'll give you a feel for what the parameters are and what to look for. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Robert in Kansas, who's got to be sad after that football game on uh, Saturday out there. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, no I kept thinking, yeah, yeah, I kept thinking that we're, they're not updating the score here. What, what's going on? But in any event, uh, with regard to FXI, you're, you're exactly right. You're, with regard to sensing that it was forming a top, it did form a TD9 count top. It did that on the trading day of October 20th. 
But since then, in the days uh, afterwards, we can see that its oscillator and change line changed from red to green. So very much like the NQ and the ES and the YM that we're taking a look at, this could be just a pullback to support. And that's at the 4106 level, and you're at 4149, so you're certainly not going to take a short trade there. Um, if price were to close below that level, you've got support at 4050, 3994, and 3895. So those would be things that you could take a look at. But at this stage here, yes, you're absolutely right. It did form a top. The question is, is this just a retracement back to support and then it's going to move higher? And that would be the 4106 level. So any any questions about that? And when I take a look at the weekly chart out here, the weekly chart just show, it shows a nice wave number seven. That's courtesy of Basil Chapman. So there's a bottom there. Price finding support at the, or resistance at the top of that profile. So that's normal. But it still looks to me like actually FXI may want to make a run higher after it tests that green oscillator and change line. But that's the first test that we need to pay attention to. And if I look at a 30-minute time frame chart to say, hey, Robert, maybe now is to take the time in a trade. Shoot, I've got a TD nine count bottom that formed at uh, 1 o'clock as we were coming on the air. So I wouldn't tell you to do but, that. So go ahead. Can, but do you, does this instrument respect the TD nine counts? Is, that, is this a good instrument for that? I mean, I know in the past you said some instruments, hey, sure. you know, the TD nine counts are really good, but others not so much. Yeah, so a uh, great question here, and um, I, you know, I, let's just say we don't have to worry about that right now, because when that oscillator yeah. and change line change colors, that's really where the piece of information, the next piece of the puzzle comes from, and price is too close to that to consider a short position right now. So I think you need to wait to see how that test unfolds to then draw a conclusion, okay? All right, thank you. You bet. Thanks so much for calling. Folks, have a great day. Stay tuned for two more great hours of programming. I'll see you tomorrow.